Alleycats, any viewers. So today, I want to talk about Stranger Things, Netflix's latest television show. Now, Stranger Things is basically E.T. meets Twin Peaks, in my opinion. It's fascinating, it's supernatural, and it's got all those warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feelings embedded in it. The story revolves around the disappearance of a young boy named Will Byers. Will mysteriously disappeared one night after playing a game like D&D with his friends. So his mom and his friends are trying to find Will. They're convinced he's alive and that something has taken him. Something supernatural and evil has taken him. Everyone else in town thinks they're crazy, but they're convinced. So one night, when his friends are searching for him, they stumble across this girl named Eleven. And Eleven's a little weird. She doesn't know what's going on in this world. She has no idea what things are. But they know there's something odd about Eleven. She's able to do things with her mind. She uses telepathy and telekinesis. And she just may be the key to finding Will. I absolutely adored this show. I love that there were so many touches to the 80s thrown throughout the show. You can see posters of things like Evil Dead, The Thing, Jaws in the rooms of the characters. The clothing is appropriate to the era. You can see the old-fashioned telephones. It was just so amazingly well done. And I felt like I myself was in the 80s. It was just amazing. And for the most part, I really liked the acting. The child actors were phenomenal. Usually child actors can be a little iffy, but these kids were great. The scene stealers, in my opinion, were Eleven and Dustin, aka Toothless. You just wanted to hug Eleven and just take her under your wing and give her everything she needs because she's so innocent and she's gone through so much terrible shit. And then Dustin is the comedy relief. He's the one that you're constantly laughing at because he's always making some kind of joke or he's obsessed with food or something like that. I also really, really love the creature design. When you see the creature, it's kind of disgusting, but it's amazing. And I love the design of the other world, the upside down. It was really creepy and foreboding and just chilling and I thought it was very well done. Winona Ryder is also at the top of her game in this. She has come back. And none of us really knew how much we needed her back, but we needed her! She is fantastic in the role of the mother. She is frantic. She wants her son back. She'll do anything to get him back. She'll even risk her own life to get him back. And I also love that this show explores the themes of friendship and first love and the love of a mother for her child. In the end, this show was just basically a spooky Amblin homage. It was fantastic. The acting was great especially the child actors. The atmosphere is incredible. If you know the 80s, you'll get a lot of warm fuzzy feelings because there's so many homages to the 80s throughout the show. It's very well done. I cannot wait for season two. Please let there be a season two. And if you're a fan of Supernatural television shows and films, or if you're a fan of the Amblin era, definitely check out Stranger Things. It's right up your alley and you will love it. And you'll be cheering for them to find Will. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Let me know down below if you've seen Stranger Things and what you thought. Share the video if you'd like to. That actually helped me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe because that would be an amazing birthday gift to me. If you'd like to follow me on any social media sites, they're all listed in the description box down below. I'm gonna go. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Peace and kisses. Bye.